everyone's busy. And so what you want to do is set up your inbox so that you can quickly determine which emails need immediate attention and what emails you can skip until later. When I jump into my Outlook inbox, first of all, how do I know that I'm in my inbox? Over here on the left, I've collapsed my folder pane, but you can see that the inbox has the gray surrounding it, so that indicates that I'm in my inbox, and it indicates that I have 10 unread messages. Well, what I want to do is glance and go. Glance and determine which ones do I need to go look at it, and which ones do I need to just go on and skip it. Well, let's take a look in the View tab. In the View tab, in the Arrangement group, you have this option called Preview Message or Message Preview. Mine is currently turned off. I'm not previewing the message. Now, I do have my reading pane on, but the Message Preview and the reading pane are two totally separate items. When I have a message selected, and it's this class example here, that's what I'm previewing in the reading pane. But what I want to preview is these other messages that what do I need to look at, what do I skip for later. So let's identify what we're seeing. The first name here, Sherry Tingle, Sherry Class Demo Tingle. These are all from the same email. That's who sent me the email. Okay, now why does this say Sherry Class Demo Tingle? Well, let me show you. I'm just going out to the internet, and on the internet, this is a totally different email account. This is on the Outlook.com site and this is an email that I set up and I only use it for class examples and you can see up here in the corner this is how I've set this account up to show up Sherry Class Demo Tingle so anytime I send email messages from this account they're going to show up in other people's inbox with Sherry Class Demo Tingle alright so let's go back and you can see it right here Sherry Class Demo Tingle all of these emails came from that particular account you don't control the person's name the email settings control the person's name. Now this first email here, this is one I sent myself. And this particular email came from this email, this demo tutorial. See right here you can see Sherry Tingle demo tutorial outlook.com. And in this email I have myself set up as Sherry Tingle. But let's scroll through here. I have some other emails from some account called Class Example class tutorial at outlook.com which is just another demo um, email that I use and then I have one here from Microsoft my Microsoft account sent me information and so as you're looking at the preview as you're looking at your inbox the first thing you're going to see is who sent you the message the next thing you're going to see is the subject line of that message so in the inbox my subject line is the next line and you can see on the messages that I have not yet read the subject lines show up in blue in the reading pane, when you go into the reading pane, the reading pane also has the subject line, but where is it? Where is it in the reading pane? So let's click on this one. Sherry Tingle Certificate of Achievement is the subject line. And over here you can see there's the person who sent me the email. There's the Sherry Tingle. It also adds though what the email, the exact email address, and then just below that here's the subject line. So you can also see that in if you have the reading pane on. Regardless if the reading pane's on, that's what you're going to see in the inbox. But what if you want to see a little more than that? Then go to the View tab, and on the View tab, go to the Arrangement Group and drop down Message Preview. And in Message Preview, you can see that my Message Preview is currently turned off. Well, let's turn on one line. When I turn on one line, it says, well, which folders do you want to attach this to? Just this folder. Just this one is all. So now I've said, now show me the first line. Well, in my reading pane, you can see the entire message. This file is found in the My Documents folder. I've attached it here as a backup in the event I can't find the file or the original is changed. Okay, that's the message. This is the message if I were to open the email with either looking at it in the reading pane or double click to open it. But now look, over here, over here in the preview, I can see the first little bit. I can see what fits here, the first line of what fits. And look what happens when I resize. When I resize the inbox, then I get a little more information that shows up. So depending on the size of your inbox is going to determine how much is one line. One line. Let's go look at a different one. The Believe Graphic. This email doesn't have any words. This email is simply a picture. And the picture is not going to show up in the preview over here. So it appears as though this email holds nothing. Well, it does hold something. It just happens to be a picture. Now let's look at this one. This one says, I have attached their certificate of achievement. And you can read all of that after one line. So it simply says, end. Let's do another one. 
subject lines, and then it has three more lines after it. So this one simply tells you the first line, which is short and sweet. Well, let's add a little more. Let's get back to message preview, and let's say, let's show the first two lines. And of course, we're going to change that in this folder. And now, same email that we were just on, you can see subject lines and the first one. Keep them simple, because it's showing you the first two lines of any message. This one doesn't need two lines. It ended after one line, so it doesn't need to. But let's go back to that original one that we were looking at. Now this one, it'll show up when you put up two lines, unless you make this smaller, and now, oops, now I'm not at the end of that message yet because two is not enough space in order for me to see the rest of the message. And then you can do the last one. Let's go three lines, and of course, we'll attach it to this folder. And now this one, look, it's you can see all of it, but it just needs just a significantly, a teeny tiny little space to say, but that was the end of it. It was just one little space off is all. This one, you can see all the message. This one, of course, remember, doesn't have a message. And then on the, the uh, subject lines, I can't get to the entire message on this one because three is where you max out. Or if you had someone who's very lengthy, you had a very, very long message, of course, three lines wouldn't be enough to preview it. But now you can identify what works for you so that you can quickly glance at your inbox. And just by glancing at the inbox, I don't have to have the reading pane on. I can have the reading pane off. And by the way, if you have the reading pane off, you'll be able to see a significant amount of space here. You can see a lot more information based on the preview. So you simply decide, turn it off so you don't see any preview of the message. You just simply see who the message is from and the subject. Now, why is this looking different? Because I turned the reading pane off. If you turn the reading pane back on, it simply shows up differently in the inbox. It's all about how you have your view set up. So you can have no information about the email, or you can have up to three lines of information about the email. But as you can see, now based on your personal preferences, you're going to be able to glance and go glance and go to the message or glance and go on past that message. So use your preview so you can glance and go and make life faster for your daily work. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.